questions. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure you've been getting the same thing as I have, brother. Like I've been getting amazing level of pushback over the last week, just the last few days, like particularly since RFK announced he's joining Trump's team. But even, you know, going back to a few weeks with this alleged assassination attempt and Trump basically being made a god in some people's eyes, like this is at least in my perspective, a level of propaganda that we haven't seen in quite some time. And, and I think it's very worrisome, but it's also why it's so important for us to talk about it. It absolutely is. And it's disappointing as well. I don't know how you feel about it. I'm sure maybe you feel the same, but I'm absolutely. really disappointed in the likes of Alex Jones. I, I am. Um, he's done some great stuff. Maybe it's because I got him over a barrel and he's obviously he's in billions of dollars of debt that wouldn't surprise me russell brand obviously was that a hit job in my opinion documentary came out and got him over a barrel he was basically given a home at rumble when obviously now he's having to in my point pay the piper pretend he's christian it's nonsense in my opinion because he's he's a comedian where's the comedy gone in it um what do you think the the, the level of of religion has been absolutely weaponized here in my opinion and you've got trump who is attached to jared kushner to the habadnik um, sect. Yeah. So there is a weaponization here of especially Christianity. Um, and I see a lot of the alternative media being dragged in through that way, especially in the US, because that's always been primarily a kind of Christian kind of movement. Do you see what I see? Absolutely, man. I mean, I, I would I would I would second all the names you mentioned and also mention uh, people like Jordan Peterson and others who are all of a sudden just having some conversion out of nowhere. I mean, I, I've definitely been extremely skeptical of what I've witnessed with Russell Brand. And I'll mention when I was at um, one of the articles I wrote a few weeks ago about Rumble, I went to this Bitcoin conference in Nashville and it was being sponsored by Rumble and Russell Brand was there as well as the CEO of Rumble. And I did talk to Russell for a moment and uh, we exchanged information. Um, I doubt I'm going to end up getting on the platform because of all the things I'm calling out. But I, uh, you know, in person, he seemed like a genuine person. I tend to believe that, like you said, they probably got him over a barrel with the, the hit job documentary and who knows what other kind of dirt there might be. I don't, I, you know, and I hate to say this because I, people can are free to believe whatever they want. And I, and I, I think that's a fundamental human right, of course, even if I think people are deluded in their beliefs. Um, so I say that first to say, I don't buy for one second that he is a Christian now all of a sudden. I don't, you know, I, I don't, I just don't believe in these conversions that we're witnessing. Uh, and especially in the cases of people who, uh, Jordan Peterson, for example, were like, I'm very logical, I'm an atheist, et cetera. And then we're kind of witnessing through the, the public uh, channels a transformation or at least that's the message that we're supposed to get and the same thing with the trump assassination attempt you know trump has never been and nobody would ever consider trump to be some strong christian or some you know man of god or anything like that like you look at who he actually is and he's very far from that but yet even he will sort of pay lip service to that and of course you mentioned the jared kushner thing and 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 there are plenty of people now who i think maybe would have been on the fence or even uh been against Trump, who now, because they see this protected by the hand of God and prophecies predicted this and all kinds of stuff. And like you said, these, these are folks that are coming back from a, from a messianic uh, background. And so they want prophecy to come to life. They're trying to will prophecy into life, whether or not we believe those prophecies are, are real or not, they want them to come to life. And so they're doing everything they can. And this is why, of course, the, the, uh, uh, the Zionist lobby is so part of it. Uh, and, and part of what they're doing in Israel. And I think Trump is the one that has been ordained to bring about this, whatever vision they have, whatever prophecy they have. But I absolutely see, I mean, personally, I've always think that religion has been a tool for controlling and dividing and manipulating people. I do believe in a creator. I believe in a creative divine force, but I definitely think the Abrahamic religions have been extremely problematic for humanity and continue to be, and they continue to be exploited and played off of each other. And I, I think that's by design. And,